Hey, what's happening, guys? So Newcastle United are closing in on the signing of Gambian wonder kid Jankuba Minte for a mere £6 million from Odense in Denmark. Much like Garan Kual, I expect the lad to be immediately sent out on loan with a view to integrating him into the first team squad upon his return with more experience. Before I get into what he offers on the pitch, I just want to let you know that the Danish league is quickly becoming a breeding ground for young African talent to flourish. Norseland in particular, who happen to have a close tie to a football academy in Ghana, have produced names like Mohamed Kudos and Kamaldin Suleiman in quick succession, with the former in particular being one of the most highly sought after players in world football right now. So bringing in a player in the same mold can only be seen as a positive in my eyes. For Minte himself, this is a move which is quite literally going to change his life overnight. If reports are to be believed, he's only been making 300 quid per week on his current deal, and the hike in wages is reward for not only getting game time at senior level, but also being called up to his national side as a teenager. Positionally, he's capable of operating across the front three, but is primarily utilized out wide on the right, where he's amassed a highly impressive three goals and six assists in just 15 games, some of which were as an impact substitute, with his standout moment being against Copenhagen off the bench as he assisted the winner against the biggest club in the country. In fact, he's been so good that Odense refused to let him go for the Under-20 World Cup because they felt like he could be the difference between staying up and going down. As showcased by the heat map on screen, he likes to hug the touchline and help stretch play before coming onto his stronger left foot and getting a shot away. I'm not sure how many of you watch the Bundesliga, but he reminds me a lot of Musa Diaby at Leverkusen, and that's someone who looks destined for the very top. As you'd expect, Minte is fearless and loves running at defenders whenever he gets the chance to do so, and also has impressive end product for someone so young, but does lack the physicality to be making an impact in English football right away. I respect your time as a viewer, so won't be making this video any longer for the sake of revenue, but feel free to ask me any questions you have down below, and do consider giving the video a like if you found it useful. When the takeover at Newcastle happened, I really didn't expect the owners to be spending so wide and focusing on youth given the temptation to find a quick fix. And these are ominous signs for the established top six who will be bricking it to have yet more competition that isn't just a flash in the pan. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.